The people who are living in this state, the following state I'm going to give you now, the people living in these places, they are living in poverty. They are poor. But outsiders are coming in in the, in the darkest of the night. They bring in their machinery. They do all of that. They extract these mineral resources to go and sell after paying stipend, after bribing those who claim to be the leaders of all these, of all these regions. So that is why they will never support the breakup of the country Nigeria. Gold. We have states like Shokoto, Zamfara, Ojo, Niger, Kwara, Kebi, Kaduno, Edo, Ebonyi, Bauchi, and Abuja. These are places where they have confirmed a, the large deposit of gold. But they are not exploiting them. The people from this state I just listed now, they are living in poverty because they are part of Nigeria. And Nigeria will not allow them to, ext to extract these resources, to use them for their own benefit, to fight poverty and end poverty. If any of them tries it, they will send their soldiers down to shoot and kill you. But in Zamfara, there are Chinese there who are extracting gold. In Oshun, there are Chinese there who are extracting gold. These guys flew thousands of kilometers to Nigeria, to the remotest part of your village, that you, who has been praying for a better country, for a better leader, and all of that for years. Meanwhile, you are walking about blind, ignorant. You are working on your wealth. A Chinese man from Wuhan, from Jinsheng, from Shenzhen, flew thousands of miles down to your country and began extracting those resources to be exported back to wherever he came from. And you are here speaking grammar. Nigeria is one. We cannot, cannot dissolve Nigeria. You people should not dissolve Nigeria on Facebook. Uh, Biafra is a Facebook nation. Uh, you are mad. You just don't know. You are working about poor. You are poor in, think in thinking. You are poor in reasoning. And you are so poor in judgment. And you want a beautiful country. How does that work? It is impossible. It will never happen. And that is why if you don't kill Nigeria, Nigeria is going to kill you, whether you like it or not. Okay? Get mad. Show it. And let me deal with you my own way. Gold. You are saving a lot of money to buy that chain gold. Or let me say gold chain, rather. Eh? You want to spend 500,000 naira to buy that new Oja? Because that's what we call it in Europe, uh, in, uh, in Lagos. Then they say, oh, I love this, your new Oja. I love this, your new. I don't know what you call it today. You want to buy the most expensive jewelry. But you don't even know how that is made. The leaders who are supposed to make you understand that you are actually working on wealth. That you don't need to wear that gold, that gold, I mean, that uh, gold chain, right? To prove that you are wealthy. You are naturally born into wealth. But they plaster your eyes to continue to chase shadow, to continue to chase shadow. And you are seeing poverty miling up around you. So your education is a waste. If you are still standing up there writing jargons, writing nonsense, booking sessions on different media platform explaining to people why nigeria is the best thing that has, uh, that has ever happened after uh, after sliced bread you are just a madman you will realize later that is if nigeria doesn't kill you yet if you don't kill nigeria it will kill you it's just a matter of time there's something called talk t-a-l-c Talk. I don't know much about it, but I will read about it to you, and we can all learn about it today. And I'll tell you where you will find them and what they use, what they use it for. Possibly, they say 
you will find tag in Niger, Oshun, Kogi, Ogun, Kaduna states. They said the current deposit of tag is put at around 40 million tons. The only tag plant in the country is the Raw Materials Research and Development Council, RMRDC. I don't know where that is, but they say it's in Niger State. But you know, it's, it's just a political appointment that they just put someone there that possibly had no clue why it's even there in the first place. So they say, let's see what they use TAC for. Well, um, I'm going to need to use my Google because I want to know too. If it's deposited in Ogun State, I want to know uh, TAC powder, okay? TAC powder, which is used for... TAC is a clay mineral composed. Sorry, they say TAC is a clay mineral composed of hydrated magnesium magnesium silicate with the chemical formula mg that's too much okay that's too much anyway what do they use stock for um it's widely used as baby powder can you imagine oh my god ogun state ogun state has large deposit of tar, which is used for baby powder tar which can be used for that your Mary Kay. I can even start a powder company in Ogun State, uh, in Oduduwa Republic, whereby, right, made in Oduduwa Republic, a tack, uh, you know, uh, powder uh, for our ladies. Imagine that. Imagine how rich I'll be if I just make my research and realize that, oh, we've got that. I can actually change that and bring something new. I can become a billionaire, a Yoruba billionaire that is actually doing something not a billionaire politician that stole money. Think about that. It's used for baby powder. And we don't even have a tar uh, plant in Ogun State. We don't have any tar company in Ogun State. Ogun State government is not interested in tar. They are interested in oil. Or they are interested in going to Abuja every month to go and beg for a location. And Ogun State people live in poverty. Abject poverty, no joke. Hmm? Let us continue. So we have another one. It's called the lead and zinc. So that one is estimated to be 10 million tons of lead and, uh, and zinc. Uh, zinc veins are spread over the following states. Abia, Abuja, Akwaibom, Anambra, Bayelsa. Benue, Cross River, Ebony, Enugu, Kano, Niger, Plateau, and Taraba State. Now, think about the spread of all these states and where they belong to. Some of them belong to the north. Some of them belong to the east. Some of them belong to the north, uh, I mean, to the, to, to the Niger Delta region. Some of them belong to the Yoruba land. But what do they use uh, lead and zinc for? Because the people living in these states, they wait every month for federal allocation. They wait for their politician to say, we have collected allocation. Okay, don't worry, we'll pay salary this month. Every month, people from this state, right? They live in poverty right now. Pensioners live in poverty in these states now. Not enough money is left for these people to go around them because politicians have allocated most of them to themselves. Security vote, travel allowance, Esther code, new cars, government house renovation, new furnitures, this and that, seminar. They've allocated the money. So every month, people pray for a better life that will never come. But what do they use lead and zinc for? Because you are working over wealth. You are working over something that could make you rich. But being part of Nigeria will continue to make you poor. And as long as your leaders are benefiting, they will never want to leave Nigeria. But if they are wise enough, they will know that they will be richer being in their own country than being part of Nigeria because being part of Nigeria alone is limiting the wealth that should go around. It is a crime against humanity. Let me go back to my 
online to go and search. Thank God for social, I mean, thank God for internet. You cannot be on the internet and be asking stupid questions about, uh, what do you mean by this? Just type it into Google. You go get your answer within seconds. So, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, lead and uh, zinc. Let me see what that brings uh, for me. Lead and zinc. Wow. I want something uh, detailed. It's actually used for electricity, by the way. Like, honestly, it's something for electricity. So, which means all of you who are from this part of, the, uh, the, of Nigeria, you have been deliberately left in darkness by the incompetent, right, uh, criminal leaders that some of you are defending up and down. They deliberately did this to you. What is lead and zinc? From my definition here, they say lead is soft. It's a soft, ductile, malleable, bluish white metal with a low melting point. I don't think that explains it better in a layman understanding. But let me go to zinc and lead. They say zinc and lead are often uh occur together because as elements they have similar similar chemical behavior and combine with sulfur as primary minerals i think i'll go on what uh uh hey, this one will explain it better for us okay good one uh lead and zinc are formed in the same types of hall i mean uh, 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 sorry let me go over that again lead and zinc are formed in the same types of ore deposits more than 70 more than 76 percent of the lead consumed annually is used to make batteries for cars trucks and other vehicles jesus christ jesus christ lead and zinc are used in is a part of the components used in producing batteries batteries for cars trucks or other, I mean, and other vehicles. You see that battery in your car from Germany? Eh? That battery in your truck from China. The component in it is actually found, can be found, is currently now deposited under your, under your land. And you are working over it as a poor man trying to buy a well-produced uh, German-made battery, American batteries. I just ordered a new battery from Toyota America. I just ordered a new battery. I just, you know what I mean? We can actually be producing them right there in our different places. Let me tell you where they are. They found them. Abia, Abuja, Akwa Ibom, Anambra, Bayelsa, Benue, Cross River, Eboni, Enugu, Kano, Niger, Plateau, and Taraba State. So who says you are going to be poor if you break up from Nigeria? When you are already poor as part of Nigeria, think about that. Let's go to another one. There is also what is called the bentonite and the byrite. I don't know what that means, sincerely, but we'll find out. Bentonite and the byrite. Ben bentonite, I mean, sorry, bentonite and byrite are the main constituents of the mud used in the drilling of all types of oil wells. Currently, over 700 million tons of bentonite is spread across Adamawa, Borono, and Plateau states. On the other hand, over 7.5 million tons of byrite have been identified in Taraba and Bauchi state. Do you know what they use that for? They say they use that for this drilling. Every oil rig you see in the world, that's that thing in the mouth of that driller that goes down to drill for oil. The thing they use to make that thing is found in your state, even though they told you you are poverty capital of the world. 
you are poverty capital of the world because you have the poverty minded criminals in charge of your fake country until you end yours you will never unlock the untapped mineral resources and human resources from your different localities do not join them to defend nigeria it is a fake country with time it is going to break up okay but when it break up these are the things you should be thinking about what's a country i want to be living in what type of country I'm going to have? What type of what type of leadership are we, go, are we going to have in my new country? Because with all I know about what we have, we shouldn't be poor. When you begin to have this mentality, you will begin to ask the right question. If those criminals who are there today are not ready to change, you know what? You will change them. But you will change them after arming yourself with the right information. And that is why I'm doing this this afternoon. Bentonite and buy right. Imagine there is another one they call it gemstones. I know about gemstones, and they are different. There are different types of gemstones. You know what they, they are? They are they are called uh, you know they, they, you have a, you have the sapphire, you have the ruby, you have the aquamarine, you have the emerald, you have the tourmaline, you have the topaz. I mean topaz. You have uh, the garnet. You have the amethyst. You have the zircon or zircon, and uh, you also have the flospa okay and some of these gemstones uh let me say they say uh some of the gemstones in these areas are regarded as part of the best in the world are you with me where do we have gemstones in nigeria we found them in just about three places so far confirmed and where are they plateau state kaduna state bauchi state so you see when these thugs that you love to defend all the time, eh? These thugs that you love to defend all the time, you call them leaders. When you think very well, you will realize that they are not actually like really smart. They are dunderheads. They are dumbheads, bunch of up, I mean, bunch of opportunists who found themselves in the position where they could change the lives of, of millions, but they choose otherwise. Because if not, why would they make you think? The northern Nigeria is so powerful because they control Nigeria, because they control the oil, when they can actually be living better life, even without the oil, and build their own Dubai of Africa in the north. So you as a northerner, averagely, you are walking about as a poor man. They poorly educate you. They chose that, by the way. They intentionally made sure that they poorly gave you education that is poor. Then they told you that you are entitled. You own the country because there is, there is this oil. Meanwhile, you are walking about on wealth that could make you even, even better than the people who have oil if they don't manage it well. Does that not tell you something? It tells you about the, the level of leadership you are defending. Those who told you that you are better off or being powerful, they are the... Uh, Look at their gemstones. These criminals, they spend billions of money every year to take their girlfriends, to take their wives, to take themselves abroad, to take themselves to Dubai, to go and shop for expensive jewelries that we can be producing if you have a better country, that the rest of the world should be coming down to pay billions to get from you. But they are busy stealing oil money. They love oil money, crude money, oil money bunch of retards but with time with time it's going to end it's going to end don't worry it's going to end um let's continue you also have kaolin you have uh, rock salt you have uh, you know you have limestone you have you know there are just so many I'm going to drop the, I mean, drop the curtains here yeah? uh, because uh, my time is up. Uh, we are already almost uh, 90 minutes into the program. So thank you very much for your time today. The salmon came in a different way. Usually we'll do that. Uh, we always do it in the kitchen where it's warm. But I wanted to add a few uh, flavor to the presentation today. That's why I decided to do it in my mini, my mini studio. So thank you for tuning in and thank you for your time. For those who have managed to share this broadcast, uh, I'll see you some other time. But listen, you may be told that 
Nigeria is the best thing that you've ever had. They were right because they've never shown you the other part of uh, you, the other part of you that is more powerful, that is more representing, that is more you, which is who you are, your tribe, where you come from, your real country. I'm a Yoruba man and I'm a proud Yoruba man. And I want to be identified as a Yoruba man. I want to be respected as a Yoruba man. But with the criminals in charge of Yoruba land, I have been reduced to, 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 to uh, what do you call it? To something of a mockery. I have been reduced to something of, a, of so little. You know why? Because those who are leading my region agreed to the contraption, to the false uh, arrangement called Nigeria. So they are lying and they are making my own people too to believe that they are better off as part of Nigeria, even though they are living in poverty, right? But nevertheless, many, many of us are going to come out to take our real identity and we will be proud of our identity. We have been told that we should be arrested for standing up for our identity. It is only a slave that will be happy that you have been, you, you have been arrested for your identity. Do you know that your identity is your tribe? Your identity is your language. When they take that away from you and give you another one, they have taken away your existence. Some of us will begin to change that. We would rather stand up and be called a Yoruba man than be called a Nigerian. And we will love to be respected for that. We will no longer stand up to defend a fake country that is never in the, never in the interest of my identity. So for saying I want to stand up, I want to stand up and I want to be respected. I want to be acknowledged as an Odudua son, as Odudua descendant. It doesn't matter what, I, what a definition you give to it. It doesn't matter how you see it. But say, telling me that I don't have any right to identify myself as a bona fide, a bona fide proud Yoruba son because of Nigeria is you telling me, that's you telling me that I don't have any right to exist. And I have right to fight for that. I have right to defend that. I have right to exist because I have been existing. My generation, my tribe, my identity, my language, Yoruba language has been existing before Nigeria. So telling me to shield it, telling me to bury it, is you denying, I mean, telling me to deny my existence. So you, as an average Yoruba man, you, as an average Biafran, you, as an average Fulani man, you, as an average Shekiri man, you, as an average Yoruba man, you, as an average uh, Niger Delta, let me use that uh, generally, you from Benway, or let me say the Middle Beltans, wherever you come from, listen, your identity is not Nigerian. Your language is not Nigerian. There is no Nigerian. When we say what is Nigerian language, you will say we only have official language. What is official language? When you have your own languages, why should you be made to see your own identity as second to a non-existing identity? There is no like Nigerian language. They will say we have Nigerian languages. What does that mean? It means that uh, you have countries who make up a fake one that everyone, they want, everyone wants to be forced to identify with. Now, making us identify with Nigeria is not just a crime. Telling us that we don't have any right to say we are Oduduans, we are Biafrans, or we are Arewans, or we are Fulanis, or this or that is a crime against humanity. And if you are one of those who are trying to explain that out, your education is a waste. You don't have any education. You are just literate. You are only literate because you can read and write. The rest of that, those that, makes, that, 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 that made that happen, they are just uh, waste. But listen to me. The worst crime you can ever commit against any human being is to tell them that their identity doesn't matter. There is no worse offense. There is no worse offense ever for a man, for you to see someone and tell them that their identity doesn't matter in any conversation. If anyone tells you that Biafra doesn't matter, that Oduduwa Republic doesn't matter, 
that breaking up of Nigeria to have your own identity doesn't matter. Right? Such person are the real people that you should excuse yourself from. In a way, it's very important. Because what they are telling you is that your identity, discussing your own identity, your own identity, doesn't matter. But defending a fake one is paramount. Whoever does that shouldn't be your friend. And the conversation will continue. We will all claim our identity. Whether it's going to be now that you still have the Nigeria or, or when there will be no more Nigeria, whichever one, whichever one comes first, we will push this. It will become the talk of everywhere. It will become the point of conversation everywhere. And when Diaspora Radio finally come, when Diaspora, when Diaspora Radio finally come, this will make better sense to many, many of you. That's why I said, what is coming is bigger and has no tribal identity. It is coming for you to use to defend your own identity. If you are a Biafran, when Diaspora Radio eats the wave, you will stand up as a Biafran and you will be respected as a Biafran. Through what? Through your identity. I want to speak Yorubas to my Yoruba friends. I don't want to continue to leave this stereotype world that needs this, you know, a, a, a sort of a validation. Because if I don't speak English, then half of what I'm about to pass out, we, uh, I'm half of what, um, my message will be gone or misunderstood. That is why from now on, eh, we will do everything. Eh? We will do everything to ensure that uh, people begin to talk about their identity. Anyone who tells you not to, anyone who stops you from doing that is someone you should excuse from. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the uh, for the share and all that on YouTube to, to you guys. Thank you so much for your time. I may be back later today on one of my uh, freestyle and all that. But for those of you who are just joining, you can actually watch this again uh, at the end of this broadcast. But before then, eh, enjoy this as I take my bow uh, this afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone.